Hello class, so I've been getting a couple of questions regarding unit B and the inserting and merging shapes, so we're going to go through those steps and show how it's done so that for those of you that were not able to do it successfully can see it so you know how to do it in the future. Okay, on page 32, step 1, it says to create that oval in the drawing group. So I'm going to go up here, click the oval, hit shift, click, go down here, ta-da. Then it says click the drawing tools format tab. I'm already there. On the ribbon, click the more button in the shape styles group. So, oh, there we go, format shape styles, more, that's this thing here. And then it wants us to select subtle effect blue gray accent three. <laughs> so this is subtle blue grade blue gray accent three beautiful and then click the shape outline list arrow in the shape styles group that's this here point to weight move over the line to three points here three points Ta-da. Then it says click the Shape Effects button in the Shape Styles group. That's here. Point to Preset. Move over the Effect options to review the effect on the shape. And then select Preset 3. Ta-da. You notice it just gives it kind of a 3D look. Then click the Edit Shape button in the Insert Shape group. Edit Shape, and, and that's right here. Click to point to Change Shape to open the Shapes Gallery. Then click the Teardrop button. Oh. Teardrop, Teardrop, Teardrop. That's this one here. Done. Then it says to click the rotate button in the arrange group. Rotate button in the arrange group. Arrange, rotate. Move over the rotation options to review the effects, then click flip vertical. Now it matches the picture on page 33 for those of you going along. Then it says click the undo button. Okay, fine. Undo. Click change shape. Oh, so the list arrow. I apologize. Then click change shape. There we go. So it takes us back to the circle. Then save your work. Okay, so that successfully does page 32. Skip it along to page 34. This is where I started getting a couple of questions. Click the Gatsby in the text object. Gatsby. Over the right middle size handle, actually, so I'm just clicking in here. I'm going to get rid of this format shape so we can see everything. Beautiful. Over the right middle size handle, change the and it shows the picture, then drag the size handle to the left until the right border of the text object is under the first word of the title object. So I'm going to drag this over until it's just under the first word. See, here's the first word here. So that takes care of that. Then it says click the More button in the Drawing group. So let's see. Must be Home. There we go. More. And then click the diamond button. Diamond, diamond, right here. Then drag and then drag down and to the right to create a shape. So down and to the right. Looks about right. Voila, done. Drag the diamond shape over the circle shape 
Then use the smart guides that appear to position the diamond shape in the center of the circle where the guides intersect. So well, watch as I go over this. We'll start, aha, there are those guides that it was talking about. And I'm going to let go. Click the select button in the editing group. Select. Click the selection pane. Then click the send backwards button in the selection pane once. So let's see. Send backwards once. Ta-da. Press shift. Done. Click circle shape on the slide. Done. Now we've selected both. Then really shift to select both shapes. Click the Drawing Tools Format tab on the ribbon. Done. Then click the Merge Shapes button right here. Then point to Union. Now it said point. Didn't say to click yet. So Union, as you can see, combines both shapes into a union. How nice. <laughs> It's just the word is used. So it assumes, the say, it assumes the theme and formatting style of the diamond shape because that was what was first selected. For those of you wondering why it turned green and not blue. Move over the other merge shape options to review what they do. This one combines the two. Interesting. Fragment, intersect, and subtract. Hmm, interesting. Okay, now that we know what those do, it says click a blank area on the, actually, no, let's see. Let me go back up and move up and click merge shape, point to union, merge over and to click, move over to see what they do. Click a blank area in the slide twice. One, two, we unselected. Click the diamond shape. Then click bring forward. Done. Click the circle shape, press shift. Then click the diamond shape. Click the merge shapes button and then point to union. Now see how we selected the other one first this time. So now it's doing the blue formatting. Point to each merge shape options, then click subtract. So there's the subtract. And so what it did is it subtracted the diamond shape from the circle shape. This At this point, it should match what you see on the book. It says click the selection pane in the arrange group. We still have it open. Click a blank area of the slide and then save your work. So there you have it, folks. That is how you do it. I hope this helped. I know a lot of you got stuck on how to do the merging shapes. Again, remember when it says groups, look down here at the bottom drop downs are the arrows and panes always bring up a, another pane on the right and since you may be using a 2016 or 2010 some of the options will look slightly different but the effects will still apply most of you got stuck at the word gatsby you were wondering what that meant it was something you had typed in an earlier page and when it said to move it over it was just literally moving the text box line over here so that every time we messed with this shape it didn't activate this box so hopefully that helped. I look forward to seeing all your submissions. If, for those of you that had not submitted it yet, I will still take it up until the end of tomorrow, Monday, because I know this was a challenging uh, task. Please submit it by tomorrow for full credit. And best of luck to all of you. Any more questions, just let me know, and I am glad to help. That's what I'm here for. Ta-ta for now.